How's it going everyone? Jeff here again and I wanted to do some tip videos but I didn't want to bury them in a 15 minute uh, instructional video so I'm going to do separate tip videos uh, as part of the small tube amp series and, and this one is specifically on shielded hookup wire and I found it incredibly frustrating trying to find uh, the appropriate shielded hookup wire online and the stuff that I have found has been it's been good I mean it's shielded really well but it's huge it's about 15 16 AWG and I really need 22 23 AWG around there and this stuff really just isn't suitable I've also tried to get shielded wire out of the carcasses of old tube amps and it's about the right size but it's got the melting point of peanut butter and it just ends up with a big gooey mess of insulation and toxic chemicals so that's not it's not going to work so the, th the thing that i've found the best solution is to make your own now what do we need shielded hookup wire for in a tube amp well it's normally the, the wire or cable that goes to the grids of the tubes and or also the input of the gain pots and that's where unwanted noise and hum gets in uh, 50 cycle hum from your house uh, perhaps a, a, another light source something like that any unwanted frequencies that are floating around in the air um, that's a good place for them to sneak into your tube amp and then make a messier signal so we really need shielded hookup wire for, for places like that something that I use a lot of in a tube amp when I'm building them and it's excellent is braid and for the small tube amp build you're gonna need some 1 8 inch braid is, is the size that I use and also it's worth getting other sizes too this one's 332 inch size and this is the size that I use for making the shielded hookup wire not only is it is it great in this sort of flat configuration so you can lay it down on your chassis uh, you can also open it up like this into a into a, a tube formation what I do first is gently prise it open with something quite sharp and then you can you can start on its on its tube formation like that And then and you can gently push it against itself and it opens up into a nice tube. And it started off like this one here, nice and flat, and then once you've worked it into a tube, it kind of looks like this. Now grab your favorite hookup wire. I'm using a, a, a standard stranded hookup wire that um, you can get on a lot of outlets these days. Um, it's got a nice tough insulation and it's high temperature and I really like it. You can feed your hookup wire into the tubular braid. I try to inch it through in this fashion and then just just pull it tight and then once you're done you just smooth it all out I make myself up about three feet um, one meter and that lasts me for quite a while and I normally put some heat shrink on this now just when you're laying the the shielded wire in your chassis you don't want it touching any of the other components so putting some more insulation on it is a must I'm going to use 1 8 inch red polyolefin heat shrink and this is really good stuff and it forms a nice tough insulation layer on there 
and I just carefully thread that through Now comes the fun part, fire up the heat gun. Always try to use the heat gun in the same direction. Don't start on one end and then and then jump to the next end because you'll end up with funny things happening in the middle. In order for the shielding to work it needs to be grounded at one end and to do that we've got to separate the braid strands from the hookup wire and what you can do is get yourself something sharp and then just and then just tease the the strands apart make sure you take your time doing this just take it easy and Try not to break the braid wires because you can break quite a lot of them off if you're not careful. So just take it slow and bit by bit. Once you've teased all the wires apart right down to the heat shrink, you can just you can just separate the the wires. Now you've got your braid nicely separated from your hookup wire. Now you want to take it a step further and to keep things nice and neat, uh, we want to put some further insulation or heat shrink on there just so that we don't get any trouble with the, the earth wire. And there you have some nicely terminated shielded hookup cable. I mean certainly no doubt you can buy it online somewhere. I mean that, that's that's a given but I just haven't found it yet for some reason. And the likelihood of it being not exactly as you'd hoped it to be is, is fairly high. And it's always nice to be able to make something else yourself. Uh, just a little bit of extra touch of your own character I guess and in, in your tube amp build and it's, it's quite a nice thing uh, building your own cables as well.